Let's go to the next question. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I picked it already. I picked it. So this one says, when do I talk to my child about sex? When you get pregnant. Uh, <laughs> no, I think for myself, I have no. an 11-year-old 11, 11 son. We talk about it on a constant because he's a growing young boy, so his body's changing. Yeah, true. His hormones are starting to mm-hmm. rise. So I'm like, you know, son, you're 11, your body's going to change. They're doing sex education now in school. So I just try to reiterate, like, if you feel have some feelings, that's normal. But when you do decide to have sex, talk to your mom about it. You know, I know kids ain't going to talk to you about everything, but I just constantly keep mm-hmm. that conversation going with them. Like, your body's going to change. I don't call this private a weenie. I call it a penis. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I talk to him like mm-hmm. he's a, 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 like, an adult because one day he's going to be a man. Like, right. ever since he's been a child, I've, I've had conversations just to let him know, like, your private parts are your private parts. If somebody touches them, let me know. If you have mm-hmm. feelings, let me know. Because I just want to be able to explain to him right how you're feeling what you're feeling what you should do if you're feeling that way i mean i'm not a man so i don't know everything he's gonna feel but as his mom i, I care about him. right i think it's important for us to set the tone in any relationship so when you're talking about parent child what you said is is exact is key um, you know your child may not come to you with everything, but if you've set the tone mm-hmm. for that relationship, that kind of relationship to happen, they actually will come right. to you yeah. with everything. And I think um, for to when is the right time? I think it's just when you feel as a parent your child is age appropriate. When you're you not you have to check your own self too, make sure you're ready. Right. And how are you going to talk to them about it? How are you going to present the topic? Because you have to be careful. And I just think yeah, making sure it's um, that they are <laughs> developmentally ready for that. And um, and then it's age appropriate content that you're using when you have the discussion. Yeah, right. I think that um, I, and I agree with you wholeheartedly. Um, I think I also think that you should also um, guys, the microphone right in front of you. Can you whisper in front of them? Yeah. <laughs> you're not whispering. Um, I think that uh, it it depends on your relationship with your child to know when you should have the conversation with the child that. too, because and then how you have the conversation with the right. child. Right. Um. When I think like for, for me, my mom talked to me about it when I was like twelve, and I wasn't even thinking about it. Like right. I felt like she put it in my mind, uh, and like I was like, "Damn, maybe I should be having sex." <laughs> right. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 but I wasn't mentally ready at the time to have the conversation. But we didn't have that relationship where she probably would have picked up on that. Right. Um, and then also I know men that kind of like presented to their child a little differently. Like, it might mm-hmm. be like, "Man, you ready to fuck? You ready to let the nuts drop?" Yeah. Yo. Dad, what's up, son? Uh, I think I'm ready to talk about sex. Uh, oh, the birds and the bees. Well, I think you're old enough, son. What's up? Well, I'm sexually active and I... Always wear a condom. Always. No matter how good it feels with that one, these holes is dirty. Gotcha. But yeah, um, I'm not really experienced. Oh, well, you came to the right one, son. Holes used to be sprung on this dick. What you need to know how to do. Okay, well, how do you suck dick? What? You asking for a female friend, right? No, Dad, for me, every time I do it, I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Every time you do it? Oh, okay, I already lost you. I like black guys, so the dicks are always really big in my mouth, you know? No. I don't, son. I always gag, and sometimes I feel like I'm not using enough tongue or I'm sucking too hard. How does mom suck your dick? She doesn't, which is why this marriage is gone to shit. Mm -hmm. Son, I love you, but I don't know how to suck dick. So we're going to learn together. Now, I ain't never did this shit before, right? But I seen enough porn to know what I like and to know what niggas like. So what you want to do is you want to start off by licking the head slowly, right? Tease the nigga a little bit. Give him the appetizer before you give him the meal. You know what I'm saying? All right, um, we're going to get into our first topic, man. This topic is in our love uh, category, and it is uh, how do you respond to your child having a crush on a student of the same sex? Let's go uh, around the room and let's see who we all have here. Sherika, motivational speaker, life coach. Aaron Henson, co-owner of Black Love Essence. Megan, co-owner of Black Love Essence. Oh, Corey, on air, off air talent. <laughs> Nick, director of operations for Chick Fil A, Long Beach Town Center. Katora at God is all over it, a licensed marriage and family therapist. 
Alright, you guys. So, I feel like I got a pretty burst. Uh, crowd here. Um, if you don't have a child, you uh, don't have a child at some point. So, um, the, the question is, how do you respond to your child uh, having a crush on a student of the same sex? Um, this is an interesting topic because I think that a lot of parents nowadays are dealing with that more often than probably 20 years ago. Gotta deal with fucking Bert and Ernie and shit. Yeah, well, no, no, Bert, now that we know Bert and Ernie is gay, um, <laughs> that was fucking weird. Uh, is that facts? Yeah, I don't nah. know. I don't know if that was that was weird. Nah, that's, that's like, nah. they're, they're, they're puppets. They're, they're they're right. Right. They don't have sex. They be in a bathtub together though. They're grown puppets. men. <laughs> they're puppets. We don't know if they're men or not. So anyway, man, um, what I want to do is I, I want to toss this around to um, let's go to a, a parent here. I want to see how. Um, our parents will respond to this. Sherry, you are a parent. Um, you have a, your, your son is how old? He is 11. 11 years old. I actually old. have two, 21 and 11. Is oh, everybody okay. on the panel a parent? Is everybody on um, this panel a parent? I don't know. It's, I am. It's, yes. yes. Yes, everybody here is a parent. So, shit, we all, we all can speak on this. <laughs> so, I actually had this issue come up um, with when my son was five years old. Um, another little boy um, told him that it was acceptable for boys to like boys. And my 16-year-old had to run out the room because the way I was talking to my 5-year-old as it was, was as if I was talking to my 16-year-old. And he was like, Mom, just like calm down, just relax. So he had to calm me down because I was just like, wait, what? Because I was on the phone. So what happened was I was on the phone and I was talking to someone. And so when he was like, when you get off the phone, Mom, I'm going to call my boyfriend. And I was like, I'm going to call you right back, you know. And I was like, what did you just wait, say? Wait, how old was he? He was five. Shit. So I was like, what did you just say? So when I hung up the phone, I asked him and he said it again. And I was like, where did you get that from? And he was like, Everything. Morgan told me. And I was like, who is Morgan? He was like, it's a boy at school, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, no. I was like, that's we don't do that in this household. And I was like, um, so I start talking. To, the way that I talked to him, I basically was explaining to him that in different households, mm -hmm. some parents allow their children to do some things because of what they believe in. And I was like, you know how we believe in Jesus Christ? Some households don't believe in Jesus Christ. So I literally had to break it down to him. And I also brought my 16-year-old in. And we all just basically had a conversation. Did I want to have a conversation with my 5-year-old? Absolutely not. But it was put in, it, the seed was planted in his head, right? So right. then I had to do my job to make sure that the seed got unplanted. And it actually took two weeks. So Let me ask we, you this question mm -hmm. real quick. Um, would your response been different if you were talking to your daughter? No, it would have been the same. It would have been the same. I'm dealing, that, dealing with that with one of my cousins right now. So it would have been the same. All right. Nick, I, I don't want to toss it to you, Nick. Nick, as a transgender male. Yes. Um, you grew up female. You had a situation, obviously, in school is when you realized that you wasn't in the guys. Yeah. So um, did your how did your parents respond? Or was there a conversation? Or, like, can you talk... Can, can you well, chime in on that? For me, uh, I came out as lesbian when I graduated high school. Okay. Um, I went to a Catholic school. I was raised in a Christian household. We went to church and all that. Um, to this day, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. Mm -hmm. um, I raised my daughter to be spiritual, but I did baptize her because that was her choice. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. But growing up as a lesbian and trans, being a transgender male in this community, our black community, is hard. Mm -hmm. uh, people judge a lot, you know, and it is, it's kind of difficult, you know, when you look at stuff in the eyes of a heterosexual and you're like, okay, I get it. You know, I get it. No one wants to say, you know, you see two guys in the bed or two girls in the bed. It's like, oh, what you doing? But at the same time, you know, we can say that too, mm -hmm. you know, but when I switched over to transgender, you know, I always seen my view as being a guy. 
Mm. So for the question, if my daughter came to me and she said that, you know, she had a crush on the same sex, I would kind of be floored and thrown back. Just because mm. not mm. the actions are what's going to take place, but because of the the hatred, mm. the judging, the, the feelings. I mean, I've been in therapy, uh, suicidal thoughts, mm. depression, just a lot, you mm. know, just because of the way I wanted to live my life. Right. So for my child, you don't I mean, want her to go through that. Never, mm-hmm. never. Uh, she goes to Christian private school. Mm-hmm. Um, I try to raise her as heterosexual as I can. Wow. You know, yeah. but um, it is what it is, and this is the the way of the world. And this is how right. it is. This question it's funny because that's, you said I, I raise her as a heter- heterosexual. Is that something? That, I mean, that's I mean, that's that's interesting in itself. But however, what does it mean to raise a child heterosexual or not heterosexual? Like, what is is there a difference? Is there uh, like okay? So for instance, we had a we had a little birthday party over there, and uh, you know, she had her little homegirls and everything over there, mm-hmm. and they spent the night, and they were uh, showering, and my daughter, uh, you know, she was in the restroom with with the other girl, and then my auntie, she just bust through the door. She's like, Nick, Nick. Uh, your daughter's in the, in the bathroom with another girl, and I'm like, so what? Like, you know what I'm saying? So what? You know, uh, just because I'm, you know, just because I'm trans or I grew up gay, she, you know, you think it rubbed off on her, you know? So I kind of got, I don't like, you know, do that to her. I let her live her life. I see now she's gonna be straight, thank God. But I mean, I'm sorry. It's just that's the way I feel. I don't. I wouldn't want her to go through. The things that I went through, you, you butch, you dyke, you're nasty, you're going mm-hmm. to hell. You know, all those nasty negative comments, um, you know, derogatory comments. And I mean, even for her, um, I feel it was kind of great that I started to cross over and become transgender male because, you know, when I would pick her up from school, you know, kids, when I was going through and everything, because I had breasts and I had to, you know, get surgery and everything and, you know, my bottom and every everything. Is that your mom or is that your dad? You know, because I was stuck with breasts. I dressed like a man, you know. So, you know, my kid coming, you know, trying to defend me on a play yard. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know, and I tell her mom, hey, you know, go pick her up. You know, so it's one of those things where I just, I, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't condone it. I wouldn't condone it. I, whatever I needed to do to switch her thought process. That's interesting, That's interesting yeah. to hear that. Because even the incident that happened with my son, um, the little boy had two moms. And they were really like, they was not in that space that you're technically in. They was just like rational and they weren't like saying it. And, and I don't have, my uncle was. Like, you know, he passed. But I don't have, I have individuals in my family that are. But do I want that for my child? No. And so, and even you, and just to hear you say what you just said, it goes along with why I don't want it for mine. You know what I'm Mm -hmm. saying? So, and along with also my belief, but that's, it's still a lot that comes with that, right? So, um, just to hear you say that, I commend, like, that's, like, amazing. Like, I was, I'm for just your response, because normally it's a different response. It's not, it's not that response. I, I agree with uh, everything you guys are saying, but I, I have to say, sure, that that doesn't make it right that he's that he's saying that. I get why you're saying it. So you're right. not saying it because you don't agree with the lifestyle. You're saying it because of the fear of how she's going to per- be perceived by the world because you know um, how you've been perceived and what how that's made you feel. Yeah. So you're really, in, in a sense, saying, I'm, I, I want m- my child to conform to societal norms, which is, we can't even really say it's societal norms at this time because the, the life is so much more open now. And I would say, um, if, I, if I'm going to be brutally honest about how I feel, because I have grown up around or in a world where it hasn't been accepted, um, I, I would feel some type of reservation about my, my daughter or, or my um, nieces and nephew who I foster coming to me saying that they uh, like the the same sex. I, I know that I would feel some type of way being honest with self, right? However, I think that it is vital that we um, 
influence our children to have freedom of choice because how you're what you're instilling in them now is going to, to go along with them at, in, into their adulthood so I feel like if you're making your child feel that they have that you're, you're telling your child you have to think how I want you to think then they're gonna let their men or female or partner tell um, tell them how they might how they should think I think you know it's it, to me it's, it's a bit it's bigger than um, sexual orientation it's more about what you're feeding your child in terms of how they should think or um, because the world it doesn't accept it then we're you know we can't we're not going to either the way I raise my daughter like I said she's baptized I'm not religious I'm spiritual she wanted to be baptized so I allow her to go to church it's I don't tell her what she can and cannot do but I expose her to so many different things me personally if I was born male or not, I don't grope my woman in front of my daughter. My, my daughter has never heard me on a phone with another female. I don't tongue kiss. I don't hold hands in front of anybody's child. I just keep my sexual orientation to myself. If I was born male or not, I don't try to tell her, well, this is the way you're supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. Straight people do it all the time. Like, you're mm -hmm. supposed to have a mommy and a daddy or, you know, I just try to let her be who she wants to be, but I want to protect her. The, the, That's the, thing, how the thing that I think about and I always want to make clear is um, it's it's just like being born black. You know, the argument is that you were born, you, you're, some people say they were born that way and it, it, it wasn't a choice. I don't know whether that to be true or not, right? But I do know I was born black and I didn't have a choice. I know firsthand how it feels to be discriminated against and not accept it and reject it. So I, I couldn't do that to another child of God. I just couldn't. Go okay, oh, I'm sorry, yeah. So we, we're in a booth and we're hearing your, your, your views and um, we have some different ideas. I think what's important, what I heard most of resounding was that the part of being issue, uh, the issue of being transparent um, with regard to who your child is and who you are, how you are as a parent. My mother's MFT actually. Oh. So yeah, so that's interesting. And I'm uh, identifying as a, as a homosexual male, so I'm gay. Um, with that being said, I'm not bisexual, I'm not freaky, I'm not, I like men, I've always liked men since I was five years old. My father was in the house, I'm the fourth, um, I gotta have a child to be the fifth. So at the same time, um, what I, what I, I can tell you from my experience with your son being five years old, and I was also kicked in my future as well, because you're by school district. So, um, years ago, when you don't allow your child to be who they think they are, whether they are gay or not gay or identified as gay, what happens is, and I'm just going to give you a fast forward version, you have people like the guys on my phone that are texting me right now, let's just be honest, mm -hmm. that are not um, homosexual, but they can't wait to have you to come see me and talk about how, how gay they're not. Right. So let's just be real about that. Mm -hmm. Seriously, honestly, I mean, you're talking about, we're talking about all walks of life. Not broke niggas, I'm the broke niggas. That's that. facts. <laughs> but I'm just being funny, but I'm also being very extremely real about this, that yeah. my girl, my best friend went to school in Atlanta, I went to Alabama, in Alabama. So, we would go to the club sometimes, mm -hmm. and we would have to, in, in Atlanta, we would leave the straight club and compare numbers. Who got the same numbers from the same person? Wow. Wow. No. Seriously, so yeah. what I'm saying is I, I hear what you're saying about mm -hmm. your household, mm -hmm. and, but being transparent, right. and no, no offense, but I, you know what I'm saying, being transparent, and, uh, no pun on words, is that honestly, you have to be honest with your child, yeah. and let them be, I, I don't believe women, kids should wear dresses. I don't believe that children should be told to be gay, be straight, or be whatever, or be mm -hmm. Christian. But if they say something mm -hmm. and you don't support it, and I feel a lot of times a lot of these men that I date, honestly, are maybe not even gay. It's just so taboo for them that it's hot to have sex late night, or they think that they're doing something wrong, so it's like touching a hot stove or getting high, you know, drinking drinking vodka behind the toilet in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Like something you shouldn't do, but you don't want to do it, but you do it anyway. So I feel like sometimes when, you're, when they're open about it, they can process through it. Right, therapist, and they say, you know what? I, don't, I had a guy tell me once, and this is some real shit, and I would let it go. He was like, you know, he had sex, he was bomb, <laughs> you know, but he said, I'm not gay. I thought I was, and I'm not. Yeah. Because he mm -hmm. experienced it, and it's not that I had no bad pussy either. No offense. Yes. But it's just that the nigga said he wasn't gay <laughs> after he experienced the real shit. That's you know a know hell of a minute. I'm, I'm, cool. I'm, I'm saying, but, but really, like, that's a hell of a fucking commitment <laughs> to not be gay. Like, Honestly, I, I can, I'll try, I'll try a new food. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Man, I, I'm I'm surprised, surprised, you would be so surprised. Yeah. 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 Just being honest with self. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. um, because 
again, you're setting the tone with everything. So if you're honest with self from the gate, from a, as, as young as you can be, then that, that person is going to follow into adulthood and, mm -hmm. and all that. It's damaging. It can be extremely damaging. And I deal, it's literally, I feel like I'm a therapist. Like I've had motherfuckers. Oh, I want to toss this to Corey though, real quick. Corey, because switching lanes. You're, uh, you're a parent of a uh, 17, 18 year old. 17. He'll be 18 next month. Okay. Um, if he was to ever come to you, because I know it's different when you're talking about a, a father mm -hmm. to a son. Mm -hmm. So, from a father to a son, how is that response? <laughs> I mean, it, uh, not only just, like, especially in a black community, like, that shit is, it's just, I mean, we were raised, no offense, but it was just like, that's not cool, like, the fuck? Like, honestly, like you said, being honest with myself, I've had the conversation with him, but being honest with myself, it's kind of like being a father raising a daughter and not wanting her to be a stripper. Mm -hmm. I don't want my son to be gay, but if he is, like, I'm not... I'm, I'm smart enough at this point to be able to accept and be there for him. I've dealt with shit with my son, literally, like serious shit. I, some people are aware of it here, but there was depression issues and suicide issues. So I dealt with that and talked to him about that. Like, is 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 there something else that you need to tell me? And that wasn't the case, but I mean, it's not something, like I said, it's not something that I would want personally, but... I'm, I've progressed enough to be able to, like, if that was the case, I'd be able to deal with it. Right. Hey, uh, Megan, you want, you want to chime in on this? Do you have, do you have children? I do. I have okay. an 11-year-old. Uh, another 11-year-old? <laughs> the 11-year-olds are in here. <laughs> um, initially, it'll be shock, of course. Um, 2007. Not only put that into the universe, I'm tired of the tone. I don't want to put that out there. But if my son was to come to me, I would have to accept it. I have to love him. That's just, I'm not going to disown him because of who he likes or loves. We're gonna have a talk and why do you feel this way? Why do you think you feel this way? Um, somebody that I'm very close to, my cousin, who's in his life consistently is a lesbian. She has a girlfriend, they're around him. So he knows about same-sex relationships and stuff. So I would have to love him. I'm not gonna disown him, I'm not gonna tell him it's wrong because in this day and age, they're broadcasting it just as much as sex. And that's the other crazy part about it is a lot of us, I think a lot of everything in regards to having kids has to do with gender. Because I don't think I'd be as upset if I had a daughter and she told me, you know, because I don't, I don't care. I, I, definitely, yeah. I, I definitely think that it is different versus male versus female. Um, we were actually talking about this earlier in, uh, in the studio. And I'm like, well, most people are okay with the idea of two women kissing each other on TV versus two men kissing each other then everybody's like what the fuck's going on so, I mean an example is we've been watching women kiss on TV all day long all for, for years it's soon accepted as, for women to, to, to soon as Empire, open up in college you soon know as what Empire, I'm saying as soon as Empire came out and just and, and old, old boy was just gay and yeah. kissing every scene everybody was like what the fuck's going on what's going on TV it's like <laughs> the world was coming to an end right everybody remember that shit mm -hmm. but just because your child is liking the same I think more parents should talk to their kids about same sex relationships mm -hmm. because like he was saying, you will be surprised how many straight females will be in my DMs or hitting me up or how many straight females, you know, I'm sorry, I done fucked, you know, one night stands or whatever and they have boyfriends. I mean, I had females just married or whatever and they just wanted that relationship and I have straight guys like look, look at this nigga for you with that rubber dick and all that. The same shit you can do for her. Bless her. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. You know? And it's like it, I feel like if it was kind of open more and not taboo yeah. then people wouldn't want to sneak around and creep right, around and be like ooh, ooh that's a trans over here. I, I wonder how big is his dick or you know all this shit because of the taboo freaky shit going on. Right. When I'm just trying to live my life and be regular, but I go to the GS or whatever, and I got more straight females. Now, now let me ask you. Let me ask you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I got a question. I, it, it was, I was going to say, just because, because I think, so do you think that off the bat, 
women know that you are? Because I didn't know that until you just said it. Yeah. So I'm it. just saying, do you think that you, you pull them because they don't think that? Because I literally, until you said, when he asked you that question, I was like, girl, like, just asking what I thought. So, I'm just being honest. Do you think that off the bat they think that they know that? Well, now, so I'm, I've been transitioning for almost two and a half years now. Okay. Um, I take testosterone. But pre, I, it was still the same. Okay. You know, when okay. I had breasts and everything, you know, it, it was like still the same thing. But now, of course, I'm open and honest. Okay. You know, if a female do come up to me, I, I let her know, you know, I'm trans male, you know, just to let you know. I identify as straight male, but I still want to let females know right. it's not a secret. Yeah, that, right. was, that was my that was that was my question. It's like, is, are, would you be considered heterosexual at this point, or is it like? Yes. I so when you say to be heterosexual male. Okay, so when you say like, even straight females holler at me, like, is that how it's supposed That's, to be, or is? Well, I'm saying when I was. Oh, this is prior to yeah. before. Okay. You know, what I'm saying? Okay. now the goal is to blend in. Gotcha. Okay. But before, you know, lesbian, I breasts, I can't hide that, you know. Right. Now the goal is to look as masculine as possible. But I think that goes back to the gender thing, too. Because what he said, you were like, uh, you said you would be surprised how many straight females. I'm not. Because uh, literally, that's part of the question. And when you meet a female nowadays and you're like, oh, so uh, you fuck with girls? Like, that's it. <laughs> you see, like, so. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's part of the how old are you that shit. So you know that's but I, I don't I wouldn't I'm, like I'm more surprised with Jesse saying it. Not that surprised, but I'm more surprised with Jesse saying it as opposed to you. And I think that has to do with the whole female, female yeah. yeah. And I just want to chime in. I agree with what Nick is saying. To be open and honest, I have an 11 year old son too, and he. Does, he doesn't have a crush on the same sex. He's heterosexual, but just to have the education and the talk with your child, like, you know, whatever you choose in life is your choice, but, right. you know, there are different, there are other things out there that you can choose. So I would more so be educating my son. I would still love my son if that was his choice, but at the end of the day, I think it's more about educating because social media is exposing children to all things. And if we don't talk about it, then you never know if they're holding something inside that they won't tell you about if they are having a crush on the same sex. So, to me, it's just more about being open and honest, like Nick was saying. Yeah. I agree. With social media. Nigga, you're not closing. You're not closing. Close. I want to say <laughs> that even with social media, a lot of the people that struggle with sexuality are over the age of 35 years old. So, we're talking about people who were here before MySpace. or MySpace, I'm 38. So, MySpace, what else was out there before? Black that? Planet. AOL, Black Planet. These people are not turning gay from YouTube and porn at them. Nah, like, they've been gay for a while. They've been, you know, in, uh, entertaining certain lifestyles for a while. So, even with, I'm telling you, like, if you, I mean, you know. Yeah. It's hard yeah. to say things to people that don't know the no. world because it feels like it's an underworld where it's like vampires. And a lot of it. Is, you know like what I'm saying? Like, just has sex. Yeah, and the moon comes drugs. out and everybody turns gay for a second and then go back yeah. home. And, but yeah. it's like, you literally, all, like, I'm at the gym today for our fitness, and I'm like, you would think you at a gay club. No. Yeah. And women wouldn't know unless they know, but like men is exchanging numbers in front of women and they talk <coughs> you hugging a man and he's talking to somebody behind you and giving him eyes. I'm looking like this bitch has no idea nigga about the fuck with it <laughs> Like, real shit. And these are not children, these are grown people over 35, 40 years old. So like if we need to be honest with ourselves mm -hmm. about who our partner is, yeah. watching their actions, asking, yo, are you into <coughs> Have you ever have you ever, sorry, you ever been into men? You know what I'm saying? But that should be the question nowadays for it should females. be. But are, yeah. you can ask them. But are they really? They're not going to tell See, the truth. The thing, and no, what you just not. said, and what you said is accurate when you were speaking about you have a phone a phone number. You probably text somebody that I know. I'm just. Yeah. Speaking it because it's yeah. true. I used to have a friend, and when we went to school, he used to just come back and tell me stories like, "Yeah, the wife just left me grocery shop. I'm sure she left. We went at it on the couch, and I'm like, yeah. he was like, she left us playing a video game, but we wasn't playing a video game, right. you know. So that's yeah. really honest. But it was something else that's that you true. said that um, stuck out where mm -hmm. you said, you know, forcing kids to, um, and this goes into a whole other topic. Maybe we can talk about that later today. But for, forcing kids to dress. Like, you know, and men, you had this conversation mm -hmm. when I was here before and did the interview. You know, you have a lot of parents, and it's fine, and you can be transparent, but then you have some parents, just like they're putting it out there for them to be heterosexual, they're also forcing that on them. And that's why I made my comment yeah. to you about that, because that's what 
some parents are doing too. And I disagree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah. I don't and, think you should put yeah. kids in dresses and do all that, but I do think that conversation should happen right. as young I as agree. possible. I, I, I definitely, agree. this is the thing, guys. When you, when you ask, how do you respond to your child um, having a crush on the same sex? It's really about your relationship with your child. It's really about being a, a parent and, and being able to have that communication, that open line of communication with your child. Um, truth of the matter is, either you raise your child or the World Wide Web will. With that said, though, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more relationship, love, and religion. <laughs> The, the, the Hub Radio.